Do you feel transportation is a concern in our region? Yes or no? If yes, what local and regional solutions must be considered? And thirdly, how would you propose a plan for developing and funding those solutions? As a Noka County Sheriff's Deputy, I work on Highway 65. 65 is one of the top, most dangerous highways in the state. We have DWI enforcement every single weekend because of the deaths on that highway. Not all of them are DWI, but we have quite a bit of deaths caused by DWI. We have extra traffic out there to, uh, to deter that. I've driven high, fairly high speeds down Highway 65 in the center dotted line at 5 a.m. watching the trying to go between the two lanes of traffic, splitting them to go to an emergency call. Delays you by one to two minutes to get to an emergency call. What can alleviate that burden on Highway 65? The overpasses in plain, yes, they're nice. It takes them two years to build each one. Um, and how long is it going to take from the county Sandy to do that on five or any of our other on any of our other intersections? It's a long time. Um, you you add rail, you add um, bus. That's going to alleviate some of the commuter problems on Highway 65. Yes, some people will still drive. Gas prices go to four or five bucks, bucks a day. Um, again, more people look into the busing or commuter rail. Commuter rail is planning to go from Duluth to Minneapolis at high speeds. I've been told the rail is very close to being ready to accommodate those trains. Um, this is going to be a lot lower price than the North and North Star Corridor from what I've heard in the past. Um, also, with uh, besides we've all talked about commuter rail, we've got the Heartland Express. Um, transportation for our seniors. One thing I'd like to do is make sure we hear from every senior and see how that how the Heartland Express works. If it doesn't work right, let's fix it. Um, got only got a couple seconds here, so how are we going to pay for a lot of these things? It's going to take some money, uh, but if you get coalitions with different cities, different counties, the rail is going to take a very very long of large group of people to get that to come here. Um, we can ease the burden on everybody by getting more people involved. I, I commuted to Minneapolis for about uh, a little over five years and um, it, you know, it, it took me an hour and a half to, up to three hours I think, to get to work. And uh, I just don't have to do that anymore, but my feeling has always been, it's a little bit different than the rest of the panel, uh, I'd like to see a, a six lane interstate uh, from, from Blaine up to Cambridge. Uh, I've seen it work in other communities, uh, the city of Atlanta, the city of Toronto. Uh, they have an excellent uh, interstate system. I, I've i seen them, I know they work, and they obviously know something that we don't. Um, I, I have not been a big supporter of the, the light rail transportation system, but if there is going to be one, um, I will fight hard to uh, to get the station here in a sandy. I think that's part of our, our economic uh, role. Uh, so we'll keep working on that. I do like the idea of uh, ride share, MTC. It would be nice to have a, a parking ride off on Highway 65 and have people just jump on a bus here, go down into, uh, uh, the, all the way down into Minneapolis or wherever they need to go. Uh, how do you pay for it? It's going to have to come from a, a statewide or, or federal uh, budget. Uh, I don't think the city of Sandy itself can afford to pay for that. Uh, I, I don't think it would be economical. And we have to keep in mind too that uh, many years ago there was an Amtrak train that ran from Duluth to, to Minneapolis. And from my understanding it was shut down not because of ridership but because of uh, funding. Uh, it, it was a horrible burden to the taxpayers. So we have to keep that in mind.